Hello everyone, and uh, yeah, it's been a little while. I said uh, the last time I made a video that I was going to upload another one in just the next day, but I didn't. And as you can see right here in front of us, we have the, uh, but let's get off that topic, the 40th anniversary of Microsoft Flight Simulator. <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick. Uh, well, I just was sick. So they've added the Spruce Goose, which is the H1 Hercules, which I, I live in Oregon, right? But you don't know where. Um, you probably do, but oh well. Uh, uh, actually, you don't. Um, anyways, I got to see this. It was a several-hour drive from uh, my place uh, to go see this plane, uh, the H uh, and stuff. So and we've also got uh, helicopters, gliders, uh, missions. See, here's the Spruce Goose. Um, we've also got a study level airliner. Uh, there's the Spirit of St. Louis on the uh, on the left, right? Yeah, uh, and then. Not only that, but I did purchase some liveries for our A320 Neo, so that's a big one. So we have uh, like a hundred liveries, and then I purchased two aircraft. It came in a pack of two, uh, and we also have the right flyer that's behind us. Um, so uh, I got the Embraer 170 when I purchased this off the uh, micro marketplace, and the 175. Uh, both of them come with liveries, and of course it comes with Alaska Airlines liveries. So here we are in the simulator. I was just uh, just a little bit not too long ago playing around with the right flyer. Um, let's go ahead and scroll up. Right here we have the Spirit of St. Louis. Continue. Uh, I downloaded some stuff. Uh, here's the um, uh, the uh, Spruce Goose. Dark Star. Now here's the plane that I did purchase right here. These two. Uh, this one is a DC-3 that they came with the... Uh, Edition and then two gliders along with that right there and up here a study level airliner. Now the last time I flew around with you guys, I didn't have any liveries except the base liveries, but we have all of these liveries slash airlines to play around with in with the uh, Airbus A320. We also have the ERJ. So that's what we're going to be flying today. We will not be going over any of the uh, new uh, planes that have been implemented. We're going to go ahead and take off from the international airport um, uh, in Oregon. The uh, Well, there's two technically, but uh, flight conditions. Let's go ahead and make it nice and bright uh, out. And we're gonna go ahead and click fly. Alrighty. So uh, yeah, and we also with these loading screens we now show some planes. Um, also, I am three D printing uh, plane models right now. So uh, in the comments, just go ahead and let me know if you want one. I'm currently making uh, seven eighty seven Dreamliners, seven eighty seven nines, and uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments section if you uh, want one. So here we are. Oh, somebody's taking off. <laughs> so, as you can see, we have the Alaska Airlines li uh, livery. And we have a bunch of other liveries that I uh, purchased, but we won't be going over those today. In fact, we have a Ryanair one, which is kind of cursed because Ryanair does not fly this plane. Along with Southwest. We have a Southwest one, and Southwest doesn't fly this plane either. This The A320. Um, both of those airlines only fly with Boeing. Blo Boeing aircraft. Okay, let's go ahead. And whoa, whoa, whoa. We hit a bump there. <laughs> Okay. Oh, there's a plane. Yeah. Yeah, totally safe operations. Let's bring that gear up. All right, but as you can see, we have the beautiful... Oh, pixels. Um, we have the beautiful Alaska Airlines livery. But that's that, that's not what we're here to do today, you know. T today, today is a day to do some other stuff. It, it, that's cool, but we're going to fly the ERJ... 175 today the 170 not a lot of airlines in the u.s fly it i mean delta connection flies that but um not a ton of airlines but so we're just gonna go ahead and fly uh the ER erj 175 okay so uh essentially the diff the really only difference between them is this one has a more like a320 winglet or neo winglet uh, also known as a, or a 737-800, you know, that we used to fly an X-plane winglet. Um, this one has more of a, uh, like, sort of that winglet, but it's flatter. You'll see what I mean. 
Let's select this. Now there is an airport. So we actually, the, uh, lots of pixels. Lots and lots of pixels. A little, uh, little glitch there <laughs> called Game Pass. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we do have Alaska Arrows. Airlines, but this isn't the actual Alaska Airlines. This is the uh, right here that I've just now selected. This is the um, uh, honoring the troops livery. Then we also have the Sky West, uh, Sky West and Horizon, which these are Alaska. So Sky West and Horizon. So Horizon, you'll just see the big letters Alaska with the same logo, but in teeny little letters next to it, you'll say Horizon, or if you selected Sky West, you'll see Sky. Oh, okay. We'll see Sky West beside it. So we'll select that. Now, United Express right here is a more, all completely blue. There's no gold on it at all. Now, they fly all the way down here. Where are we? Uh, at this airport right here, Southwest Oregon. And they fly down to uh, San Francisco. And then they only fly the ERJ-175 and the CRJ. Um, I think it's funny how the ERJ... And the CRJ are from completely different, completely different com uh, companies, um, but uh, they only fly the CRJ seven hundred and the ERJ one seven five. Maybe they might fly a one seventy every now and then. But we're gonna go ahead and select Alaska Airlines for the uh, uh, Horizon or SkyWest. Same thing. Uh, we're gonna take off at Eugene. Uh, this is an airport I fly out a lot of. It's uh, technically closest. There's a couple more airports that are closer. Uh, big city right here. We got a big city. Uh, let's go ahead and depart from here. Now, we can't really do a landing with this. Now, the problem with that is because I would have to take off and land. And you might be thinking, why can't you just do it on approach? Well, because there's a stupid glitch in this that I didn't realize when purchasing these aircraft for $17. Okay. Now, we do have a fully modeled cabin, so I will show you that. But the engine shut down, and every time you try to click restart, the auto restart on the controller, or try to restart them manually in the cockpit, they start starting up again, and then they shut down. So we can't do that. But here we have our beautiful ERJ-175 with Alaska. See what I mean? How the winglets are kind of flattened out. But let's go ahead and head into the cabin, so we can just phase right through this. Now, it's really cool. When there's a jetway connected to this, this does uh, open up. But the, the weird thing about this add-on is that we can phase through the plane any 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 time. But here's our little cabin. There's no lavatory. So this is the cabin. You know, little wing views. Very nice. Kind of looks kind of looks real. Oh, besides the pixels. Nice pixels kind of ruin the realism. Now it kind of looks real. So let's go ahead and head back up into the cockpit and get flying. Beautiful pixels. Alrighty, and of course it's a uh, regional jet, so it has this type of yoke. Very nice, very, very nice. Let's go ahead and release our parking brake and go full throttle on these very quiet engines. I mean, these engines are very quiet. And they're small. Look at how small these engines are. They're like the size of the landing gear. Okay, shut up. Whoa, 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 whoa. This one also rotates very weird. Look at this. Wee! Bloop, bloop. Up and down, up and down. But the wing flex is nice. There's some wing flex implemented. Let's go ahead and bring that gear up. Flaps up. We are flying very nicely. Now, let's go. Let's get a terrain al alarm. There we are. Shit. Oh, 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 okay, okay, very professional here, let's go ahead and continue our climb, gentle climb, nothing ever happened, just a gentle, smooth climb, I've actually never flown on this plane, I think we were about to one time, but it got cancelled and moved to the Q400, in fact, the Q400 is much preferred, but it's super sad, because in January... They're gonna, they're gonna stop in, of 2023, they're gonna stop using the Q400, my favorite plane to fly on with Alaska, because it was all, not only my favorite, and the noisiest, but it was my first plane that I ever flew on. The first time I ever flew was on the Q400. 
I mean, like, bruh. They're ending support for it. The last time I was on a Q400, actually, the last plane I flew on was on a Q400. I just realized that. Um. Anyways, or wait, was it? No, 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 no. Or yeah, it was. The last plane I uh, last plane I flew on. Um. Anyways, uh, yeah, I got a flight coming up soon too. With American Airlines, uh, it's a 787 that I'm going to be on soon uh, to London. It's going to be very fun. It's in a couple days for Thanksgiving. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, by the way. I'm recording this on Sunday, and I'm probably going to up... You're probably, while you're watching this, yeah, I'm probably on a plane right now. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. The 787 has... Wi oh, of course it does. It has Wi-Fi. It just depends on how long it takes to upload it. It should be like a... I think it's a 9-hour flight, or is it 10-hour? I'll have to check my tickets again. Um, for my ticket. Um, anyways, what, what am I saying? Uh, yeah, probably I'm either at the airport when you see this, or I'm on a plane, or I'm at a hotel. So, it's, uh, I'm probably, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm probably over an ocean right now. Uh, well, from the time you're hearing about this, because I'll probably upload, ah, I'm getting off topic. Okay, here we are in the beautiful Microsoft Flight Simulator. Welcome back. <laughs> Uh, yes, this plane climbs very nicely. Sheesh! We can also go ahead and head back into the passenger cabin and just totally let the plane do its thing. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Careful, 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 careful. Careful, careful, careful. Very nice, very nice. Continue our climb, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. anti stall assist. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just go ahead and head to the... <coughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. Ugh. I hate being sick. Uh, let's look at the wing view. Very nice wing view right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's go ahead and get some stunning views in the... Uh... Let's go to the back. I've flown in the back of a plane. That's probably not a brag. That means the very opposite for us. Oh, that looks really cool. That looks like your average plane view. I like that view. I really like this view right here. Now let's take our long walk back to the cockpit as our plane is turning. It is turning. Oh, okay. Oh goodness. Good. Oh great heavens. Okay. Uh, what if I just start playing loud Indian music? Yeah, you're, I'm gonna play loud Indian music until I get to the front. Fifteen percent battery. All right, here we are. Ah, I have fifteen percent battery, by the way, in case you didn't see that on my phone, because I'm using my phone on Game Pass because my com I don't have my computer right now because I'm actually at a fr uh, at a uh, no friends. What am I thinking? Ah, uh, families. Until we you know leave in a couple of days, I'm at a family's place right now recording this. Uh, nobody's in right now. They're all outside. I'm trying to reconnect. Of course, their internet is absolute ass. Their internet is absolute ass. They, I think they use Spectrum. It's absolute ass. No, no, no. They use... Yeah, Spectrum. It's absolute ass. No. No, 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 no. What are you doing? No. Resume. Very nice, thank you. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that loud Indian music a little bit ago, by the way. Mm, let's just... Anyways, uh, welcome to... Uh, thank you for watching today's video. We didn't do much today. We just flew some planes and talked a bunch. Thank you for... Oh, great heavens. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is a crappy regional jet that I actually kind of like. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, thank you for uh, watching this video. Yes, I did pay real money to uh, buy this plane. $17 for this. I mean, what are these physics? Yes, very realistic physics. Yes. Okay, it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, like, Microsoft Flight Simulator is just there to have fun with planes, and you can fly into your house, I guess, crash into it, or pull a 9-11. But anyways... Thank you for watching today's video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know if you enjoyed down in the comments section. 
And also, if you want one of those uh, 3D printed models, let me know the color. I have them in blue, red, white, and black. Actually, I'm out of blue. I'll have to order more of that. So right now, red, white, and black. Let me just uh, <coughs> let me know if you uh, want one of those uh, planes. I can even do a mix on the colors. I can even, I think I can even do a livery. That'd be really hard. I'm going to have to charge you money for that. Extra money. I'm, I'm going to say about $5 per model. Um, I'll be up uh, putting up a website soon where you can, in the and I'll release it. Um, so you can just like comment if you want me to end up making this website. I will code it with HTML. And that's what I do. And you can place your name and order and what you want, you know, uh, and stuff. So, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching the video again. And I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow.